Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing all kinds of well. I don't know what that was, but this is going to be my August Wheel of TBR video. <laughs> So if you're new here, this is my TBR game that is coming up to two years now, guys. It'll be two years in September since I started doing my Wheel of TBR. It feels like yesterday. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but this is my method of how I choose what books I read every month. And I will link the playlist in the description if you'd like to see the journey to now. We've kind of lost sight of the rules along the way. They've changed a lot. Do you remember when I used to do 12 spins? What? <laughs> But anyway, I'm very excited for this month's reading, but before we get into it, I need to let you know how I did with July's TBR. So for last month's TBR, there was nine spins. So there was these eight books plus a sprinkle of sorcery. I didn't quite do it. I read, I read five out of the nine, but I didn't finish all of these. In fact, two of them I didn't even start. I'm halfway through with the fire on high, really enjoying it. Gonna be continuing to read this in August. And I'm a couple of chapters into Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Yeah, I left this one to the end. Like, why did I do that to myself? But I will be continuing on with these in August. But I didn't start either one of these. Now I need to read this one in August because we have a live show for the Catch Up Book Club for the Elder Ling Along. So I will be reading this one definitely. Not too worried about it as it is a reread and I love this series. So also, going to be reading that in August. The TBR already. <laughs> so Traitor's Blade is the only one that I haven't started or haven't read before. So with it just being the one that I didn't read, I'm going to put this back on the TBR because I changed the rules, didn't I? In which I have to continue reading the books I've already started, but if there's any I haven't read. If there's one, it's fine. I can put it back on the TBR, but if there's more than one, then I have to unhaul one of the options. So this one will be going back on the TBR. I'm bummed though, because I was really looking forward to this. I think I'm going to enjoy it. So if I can fit it into August TBR, I shall, I shall do. So although I didn't read all of the books from July's TBR, I'm still counting it as a win because I enjoyed everything I read and it got me out of the reading slump. So I'm so excited to see what I'll be reading this month. In terms of readathons and read-alongs and things, I'm not sure in terms of readathons, but read-alongs, I have some I definitely have to read. I also, well, I already mentioned Assassin's Quest. The pick for read rate review is Kingdom of Souls by Irina Barron. So I'll definitely be reading this one in August. I'm very, very excited for it. The live show for this will be towards the end of this month. Also for the bonathon hosted by Ashley at Frolic Through Fiction, we will be having another live show for the Don Chorus, which is the novella in the Bone Season series. The live show for that one will be in the next couple of weeks. I'll put the date here. And I'm very excited to theorize with everybody about what's gonna happen in the fourth book, which is due out next year. So that's another one. And lastly, I'd really like to join in and read Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed for the Unfriendly Black Hotties book club. This is the book club pick for August and Steph actually, the lovely Steph, links in the description, check her out, she's awesome, actually just gifted this one to me for my birthday, so thank you so much again Steph. I've been very spoiled <laughs> over the last week or so, got lots of new books for my birthday which I'm excited to pull from for this month, but this hopefully I'll be able to get it work, get it to work for one of the spins because I would really like to read this one in August too. So those are all the books I need to read in August, so I'm hoping that the wheel will land on some prompts where I can make that happen without any dramas. <laughs> and of course, we'll also be doing the buddy read over on Discord as well. I'll link the channel in the description if you'd like to join in, where we pick one of the books to buddy read from um, the month's selection. Last month it was Girl Serpent Thorn. Thank you so much to everyone that joined in. I know it was very last minute, so I appreciate it. This time around, we'll have some time, hopefully. And yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's switch out the last prom that came up, which was TBR Vet. I've made up some new ones as well, which is always exciting. So switching out TBR Vet, we will have, oh yay. It's graphic novel, yes, love that. Let's do the first spin. So the first prompt is to pick a book that has flowers on the cover. And it just so happens that the Dawn Chorus by Samantha Shannon, the novella I need to read for Bonathon, has a flower on the cover, guys. This worked out so well. So it's available as an ebook. As I mentioned, it's a novella, so it's nice and short. And it's the next one before we get the mask falling next year, which I'm very excited about. Um, a couple of my friends who are huge Bone Season fans, though, Ashley and Lauren, both read it recently and it destroyed them. I'm expecting it to be in a very emotional read. It's going to be very impactful for such a small book. But bring it on. That's amazing that that's the first one because I need to read it this month. So switching out that prompt, we'll pick, ooh, new one. 
TBR game. So for this prompt, I am going to be using somebody else's TBR game to pick a prompt basically. So it's kind of like a prompt pick prompt. <laughs> But there are so many amazing and creative TBR games out there now. I will do my best to link a bunch in the description, but there's just so many I probably haven't discovered quite a few. I only decided to make this prompt today, so I haven't like pre-planned anything if it comes up or anything. Um, but I could always have, well, ask somebody with a TBR game to use their game to pick me a prompt. Or I could just watch their most recent TBR video and just the first prompt that comes up is going to be the one that I'll use to pick a book. Or I could just recreate it myself if I can, if it's just like using cards or something. But yeah, TBR games going on the wheel. Okay, it's very close, but if I actually like tap it back a bit because it kind of moves forward, it is title, which is to pick a book that has a title that runs vertically, not horizontally, such as like Kingdom of Souls runs this way, we need to run this way. I will get some examples or options. I don't have a huge amount to pick from, but like with the title written vertically, like Born by Jeff Vandermeer or It Will Fall by Sarah Harrion. The one I'm going to pick though, I didn't realise, but this works out perfectly again. This is this is going swimmingly. <laughs> the one I'm going to pick is such a fun age because the titles are in this way so it totally counts for this prompt. <laughs> this one I've heard amazing things about. Everyone I know who has read it has rated it highly and you know given it a lot of praise. It talks a lot about white privilege and performative allyship. We follow a character called Amira who is wrongly apprehended at a supermarket for kidnapping a child, a white child, who she's actually babysitting. It says her her employer, a feminist blogger with the best of intentions, resolves to make things right but when a surprising connection emerges between the two women, it sends them on a crash course that will upend everything they think they know about themselves, each other, and the messy dynamics of privilege. I've heard it's very powerful, thought-provoking, and compelling, and I'm excited to read this in August. And like I said, it's the book club pick for the Unfriendly Black Hotties book club, which I'll link down in the description if you are wanting to read this one in August too. I think this book will make for a very good discussion and thank you again to Steph for sending this one my way for my birthday. I'm excited to read it. I'm also really happy that I was able to get it onto the TBR so early. Just got to try and fit Kingdom of Souls on there and we're golden. <laughs> so switching out the prompt on the red section, we'll go for, oh, colour. So we landed on TBR game, I'm excited for this, but we also did land on the same colour yellow again, so that's twice now, and if <laughs> the same colour comes up three times, I have to add in an extra spin at the end, so that's a little bit nerve-wracking. But TBR game, there are so many to choose from, but as I didn't pre-plan this, I'm going to go for one that I can recreate pretty simply, just with a deck of cards, and you'll probably know which one I'm going for. Yep, I'm going to go for Gab's Play Your TBR Right. <laughs> You're watching for your TV are right. Yep, that's an original. So if you haven't already seen Gab's new TBR game, I'm sure you have, but if not, I'll link it down in the description. It's a lot of fun, the tension. He picks five cards. Now I don't have any like jumbo cards and I couldn't find any like normal cards. I have my fancy cards from Fairy Loot that have like gilded edges and art and stuff on them, but it will work. But he picks out five cards and he has to guess whether the next one's going to be higher or lower. If he gets it correct, he gets to read a book that he really wants to read this month. And if not, he has to pick a book that he um, isn't that bothered about reading or just really doesn't want to read. <laughs> now, everything that I own on my CBL shelves, I want to read all of them. So I, I don't quite know how it's going to work, but we will figure it out. So I'm going to give these a shuffle. Sorry if I didn't explain it very well. He explains it better. So he should definitely check out his TBR videos for a better explanation. Um, but I'm sure you'll pick it up as we go along. And also his videos are just, you know, quality content. But I should probably switch, like pick out the books first before we do the card thing. So for the two book options, the one that I really want to read this month, well, the one that I need to read this month as well, is Kingdom of Souls, of course. Easy choice. But for the one that I'm not necessarily wanting to read this month, I had to pick the one I'm most intimidated by and the one that is, it's the largest one I own. You'll knew, <laughs> it's The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. I definitely want to read this book. I am predicting that I'm going to love it. It will be a five star read for me, I'm sure. However, 
I do have a lot of books that I'm rolling over into August, such as Dreams of Gods and Monsters, and I also need to read Assassin's Quest. So that's why it's my option for the book I don't really want to read this month. Okay, so putting the cards up, I will zoom in so you can see properly. Okay, so here's the setup, here's the cards, here's the books. The aim of the game is to get across to this side so I can read this one. If I lose, I have to read The Count of Monte Cristo. Let's go, let's go. I'm a little bit nervous, but the first one is, oh, it's a six. Um, let's go higher, let's go higher. This is, this is scary. Yes, okay, a nine, a nine, we're fine. But also, that doesn't really help me. <laughs> higher or lower? Let's go for lower. So that would be an eight. Oh no, I dropped it, I dropped it. Okay, so eight. That's worrying. Higher or lower? I'm going to go with uh, lower. Lower. Let's go with lower. Five. Five. Oh, oh, oh everything's falling. <laughs> I haven't looked. Ah! Okay, okay. Let's ignore the chaos. Um, high. I'm going to go with higher than a five. And it's a nine. I did it. Oh, yeah. First time I try uh, play your TBR right and it works for me. I'm sure Gav is very mad. <laughs> So Kingdom of Souls by Irina Barron is the beginning of a YA fantasy series. We follow a character called Ara who belongs to a powerful family of witch doctors. However, her magic is yet to reveal itself. She starts to grow desperate over the passing years as she can't call upon her own magic. But then when some children from her city start to go missing, she decides that she will trade some years of her life for some power. There's also a demon king. That's all I really know, but I'm very excited about it. I've heard amazing things. So I'll be adding this one as well. Yes. And switching out that prompt, we shall pick Gifted. That works out pretty well, doesn't it? <laughs> Treat your shell, yay. <laughs> Not that I uh, need any, but this prompt means I get to buy a new book and then I read it in August. We'll have a wee gander at the old wish list. <laughs> okay, so these are all the options I've been eyeing up recently. We have some graphic novels and some middle grade, which would be smart options probably, because there's some hefty looking books on this one's TBR already. Um, we have some new releases. I am intrigued by Mexican Gothic. Ooh, Catherine House. This one's the Dark Academia one, right? That's getting compared to the Secret History. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this one. <laughs> and that is a beautiful cover. So Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. Let's go for it, add to basket. I didn't need to know much beside the fact that it was Dark Academia, <laughs> really did I? Heard it's super atmospheric as well, which would kind of go with the territory, but yeah. Uh, Catherine House is the next one I'm adding to this one's TBR. Let me know if you've read it and your thoughts on it. I've seen some mixed reviews, but ah, I'm just a sucker for anything that gets compared to the secret history, let's be real. <laughs> let's switch out um, Treat Your Shelf then. <laughs> Giving these a shuffle again, we'll go for Newest Published. I don't know what that would be, you know? <sighs> oh no, it happened again. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's fine, she's fine. Let's try that again. Okay, hype fell off, but it's graphic novel. She's definitely favoring this side of the wheel as well this time. But for the graphic novel, I'm gonna pick Giant Days just because Jade loves it so much that she has me really wanting to try it. It's a contemporary graphic novel where we follow three characters who start university and become fast friends and want to reinvent themselves. This is actually a gift from Gemma for my birthday. Thank you so much again, Gemma. I am excited for it. And the art style is really cute as well. Just showing you the first page. But yes, a graphic novel, okay. Giant Days is happening too, nice. I have a feeling I'm really going to enjoy that graphic novel series. So switching out, graphic novel. Oh, oh. big book. <laughs> Again, another close one, but if I tap it back, is most anticipated. What in the hell am I gonna pick? Because everything, everything is my most anticipated. Um, I think I'm gonna pick one though that I've put on a lot of TBRs as like options for pet picks and things. And I 
stuck between two though. <laughs> I keep showing these in TBRs and they haven't been picked yet. So Wilder Girls by Rory Power and The Library of the Unwritten by AJ Hackwith. These are both books that I predict I will give a five star rating to. <sighs> okay, let's just go straight off of size then because I can't decide. So I'm gonna go for the smaller one. I'm gonna go for Wilder Girls by Rory Power. This one gets compared to Lord of the Flies and Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer, books that I absolutely love. Although it does follow a group of girls that have been quarantined, so I'm not sure how I feel about reading that considering, but I'm sure I'll still enjoy it. So the girls' school is on an island, so they're stranded on this island. There's this deadly mutating disease which causes all kinds of strange and wonderful things to occur to their body, so it's kind of like body horror, I guess as well. So they've been waiting on a cure for a long time, the teachers are dead, they're left to their own devices. However, when our main character Hetty, when her best friend goes missing, Hetty breaks quarantine and goes out onto the island to try and find her and it's a survival story I think. Also, I believe we have some sapphic romance. I don't know, it just seems weird and wonderful and I love that. So I'm hoping I will love it too. I have really high expectations for it so Hopefully I won't be disappointed, but it just seems like it's going to be my kind of book. I have a feeling about this one. Do let me know if you've read it. I know Rory Power also has just released um, a new book as well. I think it's Burn Our Bodies Down, which I'm also interested in, but I want to try this one first. So yeah, Wilder Girls, I'm finally adding onto the TBR. And we only have a couple more spins to go now, so switching out the prompt once again. Oh, we have a new one, which is a book that includes a trope that I hate. <laughs> Hate might be a strong word, but there are certain tropes that I'm not a fan of, in particular the resurrection trope, that's probably the main one, although there is some exceptions to that. And also hate to love, and uh, yeah, I do still own some books that I, I am interested in, but they might include like the hate to love trope or something, something that I'm not overly bothered about. I do also have a trope I love prompt in here as well, it's not just the bad one, but yeah, adding that one. <laughs> Okay, again, it's another close one, but if I tap it back, it is colour, or at least I think it is. Watch me um, start editing this and then realise it was actually pink instead. But anyway, we'll just go with colour. And it's also the second time it's landed on red, so that's concerning. But I'm going to spin it again, ignoring the prompt, just the colour that comes up has to be on the front cover or the spine of the book I choose. Okay, so orange, giant days would have maybe worked for that. Oh, actually, I think I, I think this one will work. Yes, yes, I think it works. The title is orange. And it's Confessions by Kana Minato. I'm not sure if I got, got that pronunciation right. I did just double check on Google because I know I got it wrong last month. And there's a few ways that it's telling me that you can say the name. So I'll double check before I actually come to read it. But I'm very excited about this, especially considering I didn't pick it in last week, well, last week's, last month's TBR. And I had a few comments from people saying, no, you should have picked Confessions, it's so good. So this is me picking Confessions. So in this one we follow a teacher who had a four-year-old daughter who was sadly killed. Now everyone thinks it's an accident, but in fact she knows that a couple of the students in her class killed her daughter and she's out for revenge. And we follow this teacher on their last day of work where they're giving a lecture. It says here that she, before she leaves, she has a lesson to teach. And it's a Japanese thriller and I've just, yeah, I heard so many people talk so highly about it. And I definitely want some more thriller vibes on the TBR and it's it's a short one. Yes. So going back to colour, need to switch this out. So giving them a shuffle again, try not to drop them, we'll go for name. So if this one comes up, and I hope it doesn't because that will be three times it's landed on red and then I'll have to add in an extra spin, but if it comes up I have to pick a book that has a name in the title, for example The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, that kind of thing, which I have already read but that was the first thing that came to mind, I'm not sure if I have any on these shelves, probably. But anyway, last spin folks. <laughs> Okay, for the last prompt, we have blurbed, which means I pick a book blurbed by one of my favourite authors, and I just double checked because, like, my heart wants what it wants, and I still really want to read this one too. So, The Library of the Unwritten is blurbed by Christina Henry, which I didn't even realise. And Christina Henry is one of my favourite authors, guys. If you haven't read Peter Pan or Alice, and you like horror or just horror-style retellings of children's classics, definitely try Christina Henry. Check the trigger warnings first. But anyway, 
Library of the Unwritten though <laughs> appeals to me so much and I first heard Heather talk about this at Aphrodite Reads, I'll link her channel and I feel like because I've picked this she's going to be yelling in the comments and it sounds like exactly my kind of thing I love books that talk about books, books about libraries, stories that include their own stories that are interwoven I just oh does things for me but basically we follow a character called Claire who's the head librarian in the Unwritten Wing a neutral space in hell so it's a library in hell and then along with the usual librarian duties her job consists of also keeping an eye on restless stories whose characters risk materializing and escaping the library this is why it sounds so good right i feel like the synopsis alone i don't even need to hear anybody's thoughts on this i'm just like yes that sounds incredible i need to read it immediately so i'm gonna be reading this in august ah oh. And we landed on a different colour yellow, so it's fine. No ninth spin this time. <laughs> okay, so those are all the spins. So I'm reading these six, as well as Catherine House and the Dawn Chorus, of course. <laughs> Good looking TBR, if I do say so myself. Also, though, <laughs> I will, of course, be reading these three, finishing these two out, starting this one. So it's, yeah, it's still a large TBR, but if I do have some time, I would like to read Traitor's Blade as well, simply because it was, I was excited for it last month, so maybe. So that was this month's TBR, my dudes. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. Do let me know your thoughts on any of the ones I've picked out for this month. For this month's buddy read as well, pretty much all of them, apart from the Dawn Chorus, will be an option for the poll as well so that's exciting but thank you so much for watching again um do wish me luck on these books i was maybe a little bit over ambitious again wasn't i please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and would like to see more from the wheel i hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and i will catch you in the next one my loves bye y'all